All right then gang, so in this video, I'd like to talk about static properties and methods. So in PHP, a static property or a static method on a class is one which can be accessed via the class directly and not via an instance of the class. So, so far when we've been accessing methods in a class, we've been taking the instance, for example, you know, some kind of variable that we store that instance in, then accessing whatever the method is called, for example, message, and then invoking that. Now, a static property does not require us to access it via a specific instance, but rather via the class directly. Now, this could be the case for some kind of utility class, like a math class, which could contain several different static properties and methods, like a pi constant or other constants, or maybe even methods to calculate an area of the circle or a sphere volume or something like that. So what we're going to do is start off with a fresh class right here called weather. And what I'd like to do is a few examples of static properties and methods. So right now inside this, we have a public property temp conditions, and that's just an array with three of these different properties inside cold, mild and warm. We have a public function called Celsius to Fahrenheit. It takes in a Celsius variable and then we're going to convert that to Fahrenheit shortly. And then finally, we have a public function determine, that should be temp condition. We're taking a Fahrenheit value and then we're going to return one of these conditions dependence on this value. So at the minute, if we wanted to access one of these things right here or this, then what we'd need to do is say something like, OK, well, we'll do a weather instance, for example, and set it equal to new weather like so. And then we could say, OK, now I want you to echo the weather, oops, we need a dollar sign there, weather instance, and then grab, for example, the temp conditions like so. Now we wouldn't echo this directly, we'd probably say print R because this is an array like so. So if I save this, it should work. Let me go over here and over here, refresh. And we can see we get this, but this is long winded for what is essentially going to be a utility class. We don't actually need the instance. We're not passing any data inside this class. And it's just going to be the same for any kind of instance that we create. So it makes sense if we could just access it directly from the class itself rather than create a new instance. And we can do that. So I'd like to do something like this. I'd like to say whether and then just use this, this, or this directly on weather. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to declare these things as static properties and methods. And we do that by saying static in front of whatever the variable name is or in front of the function. So static right here and also right here. And now we're saying that these are static properties and static methods. And that means that we can now just access them directly on this class itself rather than create an instance first. And the way we do that is by using double colon and then whatever static property or static method that we want to access. So if I want to get the temp conditions, I just say dollar temp conditions. Now notice when before we used the instance, it was dollar instance and then arrow and then whatever uh, variable or whatever method. So for example, temp conditions, when we did that, we didn't have the dollar sign in front of temp conditions, but we had it in front of the instance. Now we don't have a dollar sign in front of the class. We have it in front of whatever static property we're trying to grab. OK, does that make sense? So anyway, now I'm going to print this out. So I'll say print underscore R and then surround this thing, save it and refresh. And we should get the same thing. Awesome. It works. And that's much easier. Now we no longer have to create an instance to access these static properties. We just get them directly on the class itself. OK, so then that's this example. Let's try creating this function right here. So it takes in a Celsius value and I want to return a Fahrenheit value. Now, luckily, I know the formula for that. So I'm going to say return, first of all, then we take the Celsius value. We times it by nine and then we divide it by five and then we add 32 to the answer and that gets us the Fahrenheit. So I can now say down here, OK, well, this time echo. And again, we want the weather class double colon because we're accessing a static method and the method is Celsius to Fahrenheit. 
we're passing a value for example 20 so 20 celsius and it's going to echo out now whatever the fahrenheit is based on that celsius so save it and refresh and we can see 68 awesome so again this is how we access a static method same way the class name double colon and then whatever the method is called so let's do the last one now over here and what I'd like to do in here is determine temp conditions. So we pass in a Fahrenheit and based on that Fahrenheit, we return either one of these things, cold, mild or warm. So first of all, we'll say if the Fahrenheit value that we take in is less than 40, then we want to do one thing. And right here, we want to return the basically cold value right here but we'll grab that in a second but for now let me just move on to the next line and that is going to be an else if and inside here we'll say if f is less than 70 then this time we're going to return the mild one right here again we'll grab that in a second so let's just do a comment for now and then finally an else case we don't need another if if none of these pass, then we'll return warm because obviously it's going to be over 69 degrees Fahrenheit and that's quite warm. So we right here return and then the warm value. So right here, what I'd like to do is access this static property and grab either the zero index, one index or the second index. So how do we do that? Because this is a static property now. So I can't just say return this and then the temp conditions, because remember when I say this, this refers to this instance. Now we don't have an instance anymore. We just have the weather class. So how can I do this instead? Well, instead we say self, and that refers to the actual class itself, not the instance, the class itself, and then double colon, and then a dollar sign and the temp conditions. So a bit like down here, weather, double colon, dollar sign, temp conditions. Here inside the class, we refer to the class as self, okay? So we're grabbing this property and now we want to return the zero index of that property. And I'm gonna copy that and paste it down here because this time I wanna return the first position and then down here, I wanna return second position. Okay, so if I say this, hopefully, fingers crossed, this should all work. In fact, we need to call that function first of all. So echo weather, double colon, because it's a static method, and then determine weather, or rather, temp condition. Okay, and we need to pass a value in, so we'll say 80, and then we'll save this and refresh, check it out, and it's warm, awesome. So that works, if we change it to 20, save, then we should get cold, Awesome, and if we change it to 50, then we should get mild, save that and refresh, and voila, we get mild. Now, one more thing I wanna mention, you can add other access modifiers in front of static properties and methods. For example, I could make this thing over here private instead of public, so I could say private, and we could still use temp conditions inside the class itself, but if we tried to access it like this down here, it wouldn't work. So there we go, my friends, that's static properties and methods in a nutshell. They are still defined inside a class, but they're called and accessed via the class itself and not on an instance of that class.